What's up YouTube? Welcome to the sixth and final part of my series on creating a Mern CRUD app. So uh, I know I said it'd be three parts in the beginning. It just took a little longer than expected and it made sense to break it up a little bit more. So in this final part, we're going to take our um, note model and make it so it belongs to a user. And this will make it so uh, users can no longer edit each other's notes or delete each other's notes. It's going to separate it by user. And um, yeah, it's going to be a real quick video. And thanks for sticking around. Please like and subscribe. And yeah, let's wrap this up. All right, so I got my server running here on port 3000 and I got a React app on 3001. So now we're gonna make uh, notes user specific so we can't see everyone's notes and everyone can't edit everyone's notes and all that. So to do that, we have to use Mongoose references. So if you go to the docs, you find this populate doc where they show an example. So we can take our user schema and we can go, hey, a user has notes and that's a uh, type note. And we can go inside our note and go, hey, a, a note belongs to a user and reference the user model. So we're going to set that up right now. Let's go back to our server folder. We're going to go in models and we're going to go to user. And we're going to go, hey, a user has notes and it's going to be an array. And then for type, it's kind of a weird type, but it's mongoose.schema.types.objectid. And then we have to add ref. So that's going to reference a note. And then we got to do the reverse from our uh, note model. So let's go in there. We'll go, hey, a note is going to have a user. And it's just going to be an object this time since a note just has one user. And it's going to be type mongoose.schema.types.objectid. And then the ref for this is going to be uh, user. Just like that, so that should be good. And now we have to go inside our controller in the notes controller. And we have to make all these uh, user specific. So right here where we're finding all notes, we're gonna add a condition and say, hey, we just want notes where the user is equal to rec.user.underscore ID. So that looks good. We'll go to fetch note. And right here, instead of just finding by ID, we now wanna find by multiple conditions. So we'll do find one. And we want to find the uh, note where the ID is equal to node ID and the user is equal to rec.user.underscore ID. So that looks good for this one. Let's go to create note. And here we want to pass in the user ID when we're creating it. So we can go right here, we can go user rec.user.underscore ID. That looks good for create. Let's go to update. And now we don't just want to find by the ID anymore. We want to do multiple conditions. So we'll go find one. And we want the note where the underscore ID is equal to node ID. And uh, the user is equal to rec.user.underscore ID. So that looks good. And uh, last up, we got to do delete. So we just got to add a second condition here. We want user to be equal to rec.user dot underscore id and that should be good now everything should be scoped to the logged in user so let's try it if i go back to my app and i refresh i can no longer see everyone's notes i can just see the ones that belong to me and you won't have any yet i was trying this earlier and now if i create a note it belongs to me so that's cool i can delete them too i can update and now if I log in with a different user, so let's log out and we'll log in. Well, let's create a new user. We'll go test 20, sign up, and then log in with test 20. And now it's not going to show me any notes because I don't have any notes. And if I create one, it will create a note for me. And they're all attached to my specific user. So let's log out again and log back in with our first account. And there we go, we get back to this account's notes. So everything seems to be working. And then I guess just the last thing is we wanna catch errors everywhere because some of these lines could end up crashing our server. So let's just go try and we wanna try everything. And if it fails, we'll catch the error, console.log it, and just res.send status 400. Let's just do this in every single one. So I'll copy this, go down here. We're gonna try, try to do all that. If it fails, we'll catch it. 
log it and send 400. Go down here, same thing, try. Catch, wow, we got one more here. Try, try to do all that, and then catch. And then last step is delete, so we'll try it. If it fails, we'll log the error and send 400. So that should be a little safer now. And yeah, I think we got a good base and you can expand upon this now. You can add more models, do whatever you gotta do. I hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, yeah, stick around if you want more in the future. I'm gonna keep creating videos. Uh, bye.